Thanks. Now the next section, this is going to be page 37 through, uh, through 40. It's, I want you to know how you ended up with this law firm as the law firm to handle this in, in, uh, investigation, so-called. Because it starts off, well, first of all, the law firm got, got hired, I believe it was like August, late August of last year. But prior to that, on June 15th of 2022, in uh, Enfield number 0065, the Bates number, our page is 37 through 40. There's an email from James Talbert, but it's from his law office. It's not from the town attorney's office. It's to his friend Mario Coppola. Mario, do you have a minute to touch base about a potential new matter that a client of mine has may ask you to consider? Mario then sends back, and again, to Talbert's law office, private law office, not the town attorney's office. Uh, Jim. I didn't respond sooner, but I was at kindergarten graduation this afternoon and then dinner with my family. But I'm available tomorrow starting at 8. Please let me know your availability and best number to call you at. Then they had a uh, next day, again, Talbert's private law firm, not the town attorney's office. Hey, Mario, I'm here at the office number. How about a call around 9.30? And then, yep, that works for me. I'll call you at 9.30. So now... Jim Talbert is making a referral to a friend of his, and he then continues with the next email we have, June 16th. Uh, during Coppola, here's a uh, here's conflict list, and he lists the town of Enfield, Board of Assessment Appeals, uh, tax assessor, assistant assessor, me, Laurie, Donna, and the town manager. And then um, he says uh, down the bottom, pursuant to town charter, we're probably going to wait, are probably going to want to see a bid waiver to be approved by the town council since expenditure will exceed $15,000. And then the uh, next thing is, uh, uh, Mario, we have a council meeting at Enfield Monday night, and the agenda is being finalized as we speak. But we're going to have an agenda item that reads, request for a bid waiver to retain independent review or re of revaluation issues. I have been given authority by the town manager and council leadership to retain Burke and Moses for this purpose. So there may be council people here today that did not know that council leadership and the town manager gave him authority to do this, but he's still using his personal law firm rather than uh, the town one. Then ask some, uh, a formal retention agreement could come later, but can you please confirm you don't have any conflicts? They sent some an email with a um, bunch of people to check out and make sure he doesn't have any conflicts. Again, from his private law firm, he gets an email back from Mario. Jim, I conducted my search. I'm pleased to report we don't have a conflict. Anything further you need from me? And then Jim sends back, and this is, I think, very revealing. Perfect. At some point next week, if you please, send me a retainer letter, and we should be all set. Thank you for agreeing to assist us in this matter. Look forward to working with you. That's what you call collaboration. That's not independent. It's dependent. Working together jointly. So when they say, oh, there's no, no, no connections with anybody with this, and uh, it's it independent. You, know, you can quote him in his own words. Thank you for agreeing to assist us with this matter. Look forward to working with you. I just thought that was revealing, and I'm sure they didn't want that to see the light of day either.